this particular team is uh, more of an old-fashioned team. What I mean is that, uh, one, you have a group that is not built around one or two guys who have, they're ahead of the others in, in talent and, and potential. And you, the other guys are more complimenting them. And, and our older teams, uh, a number of years ago, even if we had an outstanding player, um, even a college player of the year, the other guys were older and they were still developing. They weren't necessarily complimenting. They, they were part, they made the unit even, even better. On this team, everybody is improving and everybody has a chance to help our, our team and they're not filling a specific role. They're just trying to become better. And I love it. I love the way they're doing it and also our, our emphasis on defense because we have depth. Uh, we can play and not get as tired as you would if you only had a five or six, even a seven man rotation. And off we go in Miami, the Blue Devils control the opening tap. Camish Pavilion, they can put 8,600 in here every seat, take in a great atmosphere, and off we go in Atlanta as Georgia Tech controls the opening tap. Road wins uh, are unbelievably important. That's why there aren't that many in really in the history of our league. Uh, it's tough to have a winning record on the road overall. And we've been fortunate to have kids who love to play in those environments and, and they come through. And certainly, uh, you know, to do that at Miami uh, against a, a veteran team and then come back a few days later and go right on the road again and, um, and play, a, I, I think, a very good Georgia Tech team now that they have everybody back for the last six games. And um, to do that in a, about a five-day period, I, I think, is, is terrific for this young team and to have Wendell's injury uh, you know, where it occurred during the, at the Miami game, so he was not available at Georgia Tech. Uh, one thing that helped us, though, is that we, we just started class. Actually, the first day of class was the day of the Georgia Tech game, so uh, I think we're able to get a little bit more rest and, uh, as far as a road game goes, so I think that helped us. Oh, back door love! Punches it down with the right hand. Trey Jones to Cassius Stanley again. You can talk about environments to a group, um, not just the basketball team, but to any group, and uh, it, it, you can't fully explain the environment of an ACC road game, uh, at least a Duke game. Uh, you're going to have a great crowd. You're going to have a team that is incredibly... Uh, motivated uh, and prepared to, to win and uh, and it's tough you know, their students were back for the first time and uh, they're an old team you know Banks is a fifth year uh, senior they uh, right to junior you know their their guards are, are, are veterans and uh, they responded you know you could see in warm-ups they were, they, were, they had that hop and uh, even during the game when they did something good, they reacted to the crowd, and then the crowd reacted to them. And uh, uh, we, you know, we did play at, at uh, Virginia Tech, and it was a good environment, but it wasn't the environment now that you're in ACC play. Uh, I think it, it was November, December games. The fans, they, I mean, they want you, their team to win, but. When you get into January and February and you get in, into the conference every game, it's a different uh, it's a different environment for a visiting team. Moore into the paint, up and under. Nice move with the left hand, got a block. Jack White, the offensive rebound, goes right back up. He can't finish. A third opportunity, no, but the tap is there for Moore. Well, it hurts us uh, not to have Wendell. You know, Wendell has done a really good job for us. and. Uh, since coming back from Christmas, he's, he and Matt, I think, have, uh, have grown the most, you know, especially in how they communicate, talk, their enthusiasm, their voice. Uh, when you have a voice from a freshman 
that uh, that helps the whole team. That that's unusual, and uh, Wendell and Matt both have that, and then I think it it went to uh, better play, uh, really good play. So he was on the up, and you you know we use a, a lot of guys, and you would think that well it just next man up or whatever, but it, it is a change because. Uh, at certain lineups, we can have a very, very athletic perimeter out there. And uh, it showed up against Georgia Tech with uh, Trey, Jay Gold, and uh, Cassius. But then Jay Gold played like 36 minutes, and, uh, and he did a great job. But that would be, you know, part of that would be Wendell, and it would keep up that athleticism. And, uh, and Alex does that too. Alex had a really good game. Uh, against Georgia Tech, so the we miss him. Yeah, and it'll be a few weeks before he comes back, but I, he'll come back 100%. The Inside Basketball with Duke's Coach K is brought to you by Coca-Cola. Taste the feeling. By the Governor's Highway Safety Program. Don't drink and drive. You're smarter than that. And by Gatorade. Win from within. Gatorade Zero. All the electrolytes, zero sugar. Level three, huh? That's a start. All day, baby. NBA champions? Boom, and I really can't win my bump into. Bulldozer, make room. Write that pun from the tomb. Wish they all had my leg room. Another deal, it ain't even noon. Tour the or sit by the pool. I can do it. Glad we not like that. Gatorade Zero. Get more out of zero. Continental tires are built for the road that connects you to all of life's journeys. And for nearly 150 years, we've been developing tires to fit your needs. Each Continental tire is designed to give you precise handling and traction in all seasons and a quiet, comfortable ride wherever the road takes you. You're at your best when you're doing what you really love. We're at ours when we're helping you get there. Continental Tire, for what you do. You can hurt yourself anywhere, on the field, in the yard, or walking down the street. At Duke Orthopedics, we offer a range of treatments, from urgent care and sports medicine to physical therapy and advanced surgery. And now we've added more locations, more specialists, and extended our clinic hours so you can get seen quickly. We're giving you convenient access to orthopedic care when, where, and how you need it. Jones in transition, long bounce pass to Stanley, who rocks the rim, and Kansas wants a timeout. Oh, the three-quarter court feed to tie the game. I developed my transition game from uh, just watching a lot of NBA basketball, and it's going up and down, and then in high school I played in a system that was very fast-paced, and then in the summer playing in um, the Drew League in Los Angeles, and um, it's just a lot of fast-paced basketball up and down. Drives inside, back up top, stolen by Jones. The outlet for Stanley, and he'll duck it home with the right hand. I brought a lot of confidence coming in because, you know, Coach stressed early on that he wants to play a fast-paced game. You know, uh, you know Trey, Trey loves to play fast-paced and get up and down. So having a point guard like that, same with um, Jordan Goldwire, they both can really push the ball up the floor. So having both of them um, push it up, it's just easy for me to just run the lanes and run the court. I, I definitely believe when the when the lights turn on, um, I show up more. But I try to I try to you know balance that and show up just regardless if the lights are on or off. Like if it's practice, if it's if it's a, a game against a you know a lesser opponent or a game where you know, the crowd isn't that, that much into it. The coach talks about you know our, ourselves bringing the energy, and so um, I try to I try to make it more consistent. But if, but when the when the lights turn on, I'm definitely um, more energized. And here come the Blue Devils. 
10 to 6, our score back to Stanley! Oh, goodness! The right handed Tomahawk! I believe that people think that West Coast players are soft and laid back, and it's the total opposite. We don't really say that much, I guess. Like, we let our game do the talking. And um, I think people can think that we're laid back for that. And we don't, we don't really get too high or too low. If things go great um, or if things go bad, we're not going to you know, show our emotions. So I think that's one of the big things people think we're laid back. But um, we're, we're very aggressive. We're very skilled. And um, I believe that West Coast basketball is you know, the best of the best. Duke's lead is 10. More outlet pass for Stanley. They break the pressure inside Jack White. What a tap, no. Tap follow, yes! And one! Cassius Stanley flexing on him in the post. I saw him play during the summer, and I thought we'd never have a chance with him uh, being on the West Coast. And we heard you know, his mom was a great athlete at, at UCLA. And, but he was interested in uh, what he brings. One, he's a great young man. He's, gone, he's a good student. He's gone to two really good high schools, and he has more athleticism than even he knows. They fight for the basketball in the paint on the deck, scooped up by Jones. A three-on-one, tried the bounce pass to Stanley, got it right back to Jones, then back to Stanley to rock the rim. What we're trying to do is make him aware of the fact that he, he can be a, a very special player, and I think you've seen some of it at times during the year, and he's been really good but against Georgia Tech in the second half, he made a few plays that uh, hardly anybody can make in college basketball. Here's Jones, the lob to Stanley on a rack attack and a chance for three. I think his, he's got outstanding potential and I know he's a hard worker and, and uh, he's been a great kid to coach. Oh, back door lob! Stanley punches it down with the right hand. The thing I like the most about being part of Duke basketball is, um, you know, the, the striving for excellence. And I think that's, that's a huge thing. That, um, that's the difference between like high school and college and especially being at such a, a great place like Duke is, you know, every single day, every second of the day is just striving to be the best, striving to be excellent. And um, I think that's definitely one thing that I picked up is um, like not taking any days off and, you know, even after a successful day, right back to the next day and um, it's a restart and just trying to be the best and trying to be excellent. You know, Cassius, uh, I, I still don't think he realizes just how good he is. And that's up to us to make, and his teammates to make sure that he knows it. You know, he, he wants to be such a good teammate that you try, sometimes a, a youngster with uh, a lot of talent tries to fit in too much he just needs to be himself, and I think he's becoming more and more comfortable in doing that. A big boost, he, he's been a good defender all season, but in the last couple games, his on-the-ball defense has really, really gone up another level, where he's closer to the man, and I think that was a key factor in beating Georgia Tech. He, Jay Gold, and Trey really put outstanding pressure on all three of their perimeter people. Major auto accident. Let's do what we do. Serious injuries. Clearly our driver's fault. So what's the plan? Delay? Deny? <laughs> what? They called the law offices of James Scott Farron. I think you should handle this one. If you've been injured in an accident, tell them you mean business. Call on the hurt line, the law offices of James Scott Farron, right now. No, you handle it. No, I insist. You have that. To be a great explorer, you need to be ready for everything and anything. You need intelligent four-wheel drive and active terrain management system. You need the most available driver assist technology of any vehicle in its class. You need enough cargo space for any adventure. But to be the greatest exploration vehicle of all time, you need all those things inside this thing. The completely redesigned 2020 Ford Explorer. It's the greatest exploration vehicle of all time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. Okay. Thank you. Oh. 
Think ahead, think advance. Get free testing and installation with batteries starting at $79.99 at Advance Auto Parts. Are you a leprechaun? Hi. Used to be. Been leprechaun in for over 300 years. Till these new scratch offs. Easier to play than chasing a rainbow. And there's millions in cash prizes to be won. Folks be seeing that winning potential. Seems they don't be needing leprechaun services anymore. Right, right. So. You want these scratch offs, don't you? Yes. New scratch offs. 130 million in total prizes. They're all the luck you'll need. Point of Attack with Chris Patola, presented by Continental Tire, for what you do. Duke's defense has been outstanding this year. It's one of the reasons they've had the season they've had to this point. Um, and there are a lot of things that go into it. Obviously, they're well coached. They play hard on that end. But it's their versatility, their ability to, to switch things one through four. What that means is they're switching everything from that one through four position, and it gives them a tremendous amount of versatility. We wanted to show you an example of that from the Brown game. Their, Brown was a team, they shoot the three ball really well, they have a lot of crossing type of actions, and when Duke has the ability to switch that, they have the ability to cut off any driving angles, they have the ability to jump out, contest three point shots, and they have the ability to keep the ball in front of them. The other thing that Duke does is they pressure the basketball. They deny one pass away, they get into the ball, and what that does is it forces the other team to have to run their stuff f so far out from the scoring area. Look how far Duke forces Brown out from the basket. You get a lot of good switches, you get some good contests, and of course, vintage Duke, the possession finishes with somebody taking a charge. Stepping in on penetration, sliding over, Team defense, help defense, you get a charge to finish the possession. Duke's defense has been outstanding so far this year. There's no question that defense has been the key factor for our team, and it, it's let, uh, led to some offense. And this is where our veterans really come into play even more. Uh, the Georgia Tech game was a good example. Even though Jack didn't play the number of minutes he normally plays, he came up with a huge block his talk and obviously he also hit a big three and in Javin there are a couple sequences in the last last minute minute and a half where he was absolutely outstanding not good outstanding and uh, Vernon Matt they're not ready to do it at that level and so when you have these veterans talking to our younger players and then going out and actually showing it in critical moments that helps us immensely and the, the thing about playing defense is everybody can do a good job defensively and some of the things are not showing up in stats like rebounds and steals uh, I, I, Jay Gold is a good example you know he only scored two points and had two assists uh, but his defense on the ball uh, and off the ball made it very difficult for them to score. So having that veteran influence has really uh, helped our team. Forty years with Coach K, presented by Vivid Seats, official partner of the Duke Blue Devils. Don't get just any seat, get a Vivid Seat. Our first Final Four team, and it's nice to say first, that means there's a lot of other <laughs> Final Four teams, but uh, they really laid the foundation for our program and for the journey that you would take, that our teams would take over the next three and a half decades, and that's the journey towards a national championship. Uh, really, there's no team that has been any better here at Duke than the 86 team. Um, you know, they went from 11 wins as freshmen to 37 and close to 38 uh, as seniors. And they were just, they made each other better. You know, the documentary that ESPN has done on really is so good because it shows 
not just how talented they were, but their character. And uh, really, they've been the foundation, the, the blueprint, the type of young men that we've tried to recruit uh, over these next three and a half decades. And uh, my, if I had one thing that I could, that, that I could do different, uh, that team would have won the national championship. And I wish I was a little bit older and could have helped them even a little bit more. And uh, I mean, we're all responsible for getting there and for not making it, but I'm the guy in charge. And uh, it was, uh, I, I, I know I could have, <laughs> today I could have helped them more than I could in 1986. And they, they deserve that. Let's talk about math. Fuel points math. For every dollar you spend at Harris Teeter, you get a fuel point. 100 fuel points equals 10 cents off per gallon. 200 fuel points equals 20 cents off per gallon. 1,000 fuel points equals $1 off per gallon on quality fuel. And if you're shopping at Harris Teeter with your VIC card, your fuel points are already adding up. Check the bottom of your receipt. Harris Teeter fuel points, an easy way to save on fuel. See HarrisTeeter.com for details. Gatorade Zero. All the electrolytes, zero sugar. Level three, huh? That's a start. All day, baby. NBA champion? Boom, and I really care what my bump into. Bulldozer, make room. Write that pun from the tomb. Wish they all had my leg room. Another deal, it ain't even noon. So a deal, or sit by the pool. I can do it. Glad we not like that. Gatorade Zero. Get more out of zero. Continental tires are built for the road that connects you to all of life's journeys. And for nearly 150 years, we've been developing tires to fit your needs. Each Continental tire is designed to give you precise handling and traction in all seasons. And a quiet, comfortable ride wherever the road takes you. You're at your best when you're doing what you really love. We're at ours when we're helping you get there. Continental Tire, for what you do. The GOAT. You've built the best basketball family in the world. You've had more players of the year, all Americans, and straight up good dudes than any coach in history. And you're about to let them know. Hey, what's up, coach? Listen, this one's for my guys. It's time to activate the brotherhood alert, okay? All right, let's do it. This one is for you guys. Let me know what you think. Man, these would have looked fresh with my high top fade back in 92. There's the pass to Leitner. Puts it up. The Brotherhood is blooming. We've got NBA owners, front office execs, college head coaches, NBA head coaches, NBA All-Stars, future NBA All-Stars. You know Jay Smooth is here for the brotherhood. Looks beautiful. Zion! Spinning his way to Tamarillo! Hold up one sec. Look around, man. The campus. The gothic architecture. No one has our drip, bro. No one. I agree with you, Jay. When the Brotherhood reaches out, you get right back. Here they come. Yo, my sneaky post moves will work even nice in this unit. One word, man. Iconic. The fellas better go hard in this. Yo, those are clean. Did you send me one in Detroit? Yeah. Those new uniforms are tough. I'm all in from Sacktown. Those are cold like that. Those right there are the champions. 
Honestly, at Maryland, I would have broke through the floor with that stomp in these Holy moves. Cow. The jerseys are fire. Would have loved to hit some big shots in those. Oh, this kid. Unused by the little guy. Boy has seen a lot of unis, dog. I've been around the block. But this one's different. 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 Special for all of us tomorrow night, fellas. Just for us, all right? Captain. Get in there, boy. Yes, sir. This is for the Brotherhood. In really all of sport, multiple uniforms have become uh, really the, the, the vogue, you know, the fashion, you know, uh, you know. I'm a Cub fan, all of a sudden you see them in 10 different uniforms, depending on the day. Football brings back the old. And uh, we, you know, we're the lead uh, school for, for Nike. And Nike's done an amazing job and creativity with our people. Uh, to come up with a number of uniforms that have meaning. Not just the meaning of playing for Duke or how they look, but meaning. And uh, the, the uniform for the Wake Forest game, representing the Brotherhood, has amazing meaning. Uh, over the last few years, our former players have really bonded, and it's them, not, not me doing anything, where they, they feel that they've had a brotherhood here. And so the guys from the 80s, 90s, and um, the last two decades have bonded. And uh, we've tried to do things to make sure that that bond is, is a great one. And one of them is to showcase this uniform and uh, make sure that every former player that's watching that game or is at the game understands that they've been in that uniform and the guys that are in the uniform now are just like them. They are their brothers.